Hey guys, Michael from Cocker Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be covering how to determine which compound is more soluble when you're given the KSP. We'll start with the rules and then we'll take a look at a couple examples to see how these rules are applied. In terms of the rules, there are two scenarios. The first scenario is if the compound dissolves and produces the same number of ions. In that case, the compound of the larger KSP will be more soluble. In the second scenario, if the compound dissolves to give different number of ions, then you're going to have to solve for x, which is the molar solubility. And then whichever compound has a large x value is going to be more soluble. All right, let's take a look at some examples to see how these rules are applied. So for each of these examples, we're going to have to determine which of these pairs of solids has a higher molar solubility, essentially which one of these solids are going to be more soluble. So the first thing we're going to look at is how many ions that each of these solid will dis dissociate into or dissolve into. So calcium fluoride, this will dis dissociate into one calcium and two, actually let's, let's rewrite it over here. So for example A, we're comparing calcium fluoride versus barium fluoride. So we're going to take a look at how many ions each of these will dissociate into. First one, calcium fluoride, that will dissolve into one calcium and then two fluorides. So that means that will give you a total of three ions. Then barium, fluoride will disso dissociate into one barium and two fluoride ions. So that will also give you three, three ions. So we have scenario number one where the number of ions are the same. And since the number of ions are the same, we can just like take a look at the KSP value to determine which one's more soluble. We have 4.0 times 10 to negative 11 versus 2.4 times 10 to negative 5. This is a larger number than that, so that in this case, barium fluoride is going to be more soluble. For part B, we're comparing calcium phosphate to iron phosphate. The first thing we're going to do is just, again, compare the number of ions. Calcium phosphate will dissociate into three calciums and two phosphates, giving you a total of five ions, whereas iron three phosphate will dissociate into one iron and one phosphate, so that will give you a total of two ions. Since the number of ions are different, we're going to have to solve for x, which is the molar solubility. So the shortcut for solving for x, you can take a, if you want a full explanation, take a look at one of my previous video that goes over the shortcut in detail. But I'm going to assume that you already know how to solve for the shortcut, so I'm going to breeze through this a little bit more quickly. So to solve for the, the x value, we just look at how many ions, again, to dissociate, we have 3 calcium, we're going to call that 3x and then we're going to raise it to the third power. So the number x is always going to be raised to that power. Then we're going to have two phosphates. So that'll be 2x, and then we're going to raise it to the second power, and then set that equal to KSP. The KSP here is 1.32 times 10 to negative 32, and this simplifies to 100. And, see, that's 27, and then that is 4. So this simplifies to 108x to the fifth equals the KSP. And then we solve for x. So we first divide both sides 1.3 to negative 32 power divided by 108 and then raise it to the 1 fifth power. And then that gives x e equals 1.64 times 10 to the negative 7. We do the same thing for the iron 3 phosphate, and we're just going to solve for x. So we have one iron, where that's just going to be x, and one phosphate, so that's also going to be x. So this will be x squared equals the KSP of the iron 3 phosphate, which is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 22. And then we just take the square root of both sides to solve for x. And that will give you x equals... 1.0 times 10 to the negative 11. So each of these x's are the molar solubility. That's how many moles would dissolve per liter. And then we just look at, or we compare the x's and see which one's larger. So 10 to the negative 7 is larger, 10 to the negative 11. That means that the calcium phosphate is going to be more soluble than the iron phosphate. So that's how you can determine which compound is more soluble if you're given the KSP. If they give if the same number of ions, larger KSP, more soluble. If there's different number of ions, solve for the molar solubil solubility, and then the one with the larger x value is going to be more soluble. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. 
I'm gonna include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really gonna help you, and you're gonna you're gonna like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.